Hello everybody, it's Monday, August the 9th. Um, happiness, just did a few words in a little blog about happiness, but a bit technical, you know. But, but there must be a thousand conferences and a thousand definitions and a thousand books about this. But the one thing I think we all agree upon, which exactly is what Buddha disagrees about, and it's very, it's difficult, is that happy, we, be, we believe utterly and completely that happy feelings, this is what they are, happy feelings come from meeting nice objects. Nice boys, pleasant cakes, lovely weather. Even we so are addicted to believing that, that the happiness comes from the cake or the nice boyfriend, that we even when we think about happiness, when we have our memories about happiness, we remember the boyfriend and the cake. We wouldn't even know how to describe the mind. But the Buddhist whole point is happy feelings are in the mind. So we want them, nothing wrong. The more, I mean, Lama Yeshi would say, the more pleasure, the better, dear. So how do we trigger them? How do we, what is, what is the method what is the Buddha's method to get happy feelings? Because in one way you can say the entire path to enlightenment is a method of getting, of, of cultivating and eventually stabilizing and having naturally and spontaneously only happy feelings. This is really the point. One way, a very simple way of putting it. Well, how do you get them? Well, in a simple way, first of all, we think they come from the cake. So then we get the cake and it does trigger a happy feeling. But the Buddha is saying, well, have you noticed, Rabina, that it doesn't last? And have you also noticed it's kind of desperate and frantic? Well, we have noticed, but we have no other method. Well, there is another method, and people, some people know this very well, and it, this is one method, is you, you practice being kind. You practice, being, you practice having positive thoughts and therefore doing positive actions, helping others. Happy feelings come also from that, and they are more stable. This is one thing. We've got to talk about it more, but that's one thing. And this is profound, actually, you know, to realize that being kind to others and helping others, this will trigger happy feelings. Don't feel bad about that. But it's a much more profound method. And this is a starting point, just a starting point. That'll do for now, for that one. Give it a try, you know.